Hey everybody, it's Lotus of Doom here with um, the first one of these uh, that I'm going to do, I guess, as long as I get them. I really kind of don't know why I keep getting these, but um, I, I, originally I had ordered the Elder Scrolls uh, loot crate after the company had been repurchased. So this is what this is. People have been curious what's in these each month, and I was describing it on both uh, Tales of Tamriel podcast presented by UESP as well as the Elder Scrolls Lorecast, but since it's not as much uh, video with those and it's more of an audio format i figured um since people keep requesting what what's in these things i might as well go through them and show everybody i have no idea what's in these each month i guess that's the gimmick to loot crates anyways but uh, we'll go through it everything's in individual packages hope this comes across at least somewhat uh useful to people so apparently the first thing is a Azura Moon and Star keychain, which is going to require me to cut it open as well. Um, this isn't exactly sponsored, so I'll just, well, I mean, even if it is, I just um, tell you guys what I think of them. I wish I had gone back to the original, so this will be my first one. I'll try to do these going forward as long as I get them, I guess, um, and look let you know how I think they compare to some of the other stuff because the quality of these is pretty all over the place. Some of them are spectacular. Some of them I've been like, mm, I'm not sure that's worth it. Um, okay, so it is a literal Azura statue. I have no idea how that is a functional keychain. It's a neat little statuette <laughs> like to put on like a, a giant nerd shelf. I have no idea how you would carry that. That wildly impractical <laughs> for what it's worth. Um, oh, this is also the first quarter, or I guess it'd be the last quarter of 2022 was when this was arriving uh, from the previous one. I believe it's the Alduin one, and actually it definitely is, because the next thing is... Oh, sorry about the crinkling, but everything is individually packaged. <laughs> so where is this stuffed Alduin? <laughs> Okay, this is entertaining enough, I suppose. But it is a stuffed Alduin. He's got a little hook. Um, a little different than the Skuma Cat one. He's about the same size as the Skuma Cat one from a previous loot crate, which unfortunately I didn't do a video for, so it's maybe not as useful. But he's um, actually substantially softer. His wings are made of, like, leather-ish. Like, it's like faux leather. But it's a mini, <laughs> mini Alduin is another thing we have. I don't know what this is, but it's vacuum sealed. I'm really glad I brought a cutting utensil for this because everything is vacuum sealed. I still don't know what, oh, is this a blanket? Yo, okay, so this is an actual blanket. I'm going to actually back up so you can see this better. So that is a, uh, it's it's like a thin fleece. It's really soft, actually. <laughs> um, this, this is, all right, they kind of went all out with this screen by comparison, I think, in the stuff you're getting. Because that's, I love the previous blanket. Uh, I have, like, it's in the background of this video, not Loot Crate based. Well, actually, maybe they are. I don't know. I bought them off eBay, so I have no idea where they're from. Um, but that is really nice. It reminds me very much of the Tribunal one, which, again, was in another Loot Crate, <clears throat> they always add a collectible enamel pin. I guess they're enamel. I don't know. Whatever. It's a collectible pin. And this one is a sweet roll, which is kind of amusing. I have no idea what context that supposedly has to Alduin because that was Alduin's wall. You probably noticed I was, hanging, uh, I was holding it upside down to start with, so I flipped it around. <laughs> um, but it's very similar to the one, actually. I have an Alduin's wall back on my couch behind me. Um, so... 
I don't believe that. I think that might have been an official Bethesda one. This one's basically like a. It's a pretty nice throw. Like, uh, okay, I have no idea how to get this open. This is a oof, melamine limeware platter. I have no context. Literally zero context for what the hell is this. All right. This will be the last thing out of the crate. This video ended up being way longer than I intended. Uh, oh, it's a it's a holding tray. Okay, so it's a it's an actual holding tray. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. And it's the um, house sigil with the scarabs from Morrowind. Very cool. Decent texture. It's not smooth. Well, the back of it's like smooth. The front of it's like sort of textured. But um, this is actually pretty useful for holding stuff. That that's actually not too bad either. So this this crate actually has a decent amount of stuff. I don't know. They give these a rating or something. I guess I've never done one of these before. So honestly, this one's in comparison to ones I haven't done videos on yet. I would actually say the quality of this one is much higher. Take this for the first video, I guess, and we'll use this as our going forward point. If I get more of these, then I'll do them. Um, between a blanket, the holding tray, <laughs> stuffed Alduin, um, keychain, which neat little statue. My suggestion, maybe take off the keychain thing so that you could actually use it as a statue because you're just going to stab yourself with Azura's points and then they're going to break off. Um, and then also the pin. This one's like pretty well in stacked. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I'd say give this one like a. In terms of loot crate stuff, I would say this is probably like a nine. Like this is pretty high quality stuff for what would come out of a loot crate. This is along the lines of some of the other ones that I've thought is better quality because it's usable items uh, <laughs> to a degree. The you know, um, some of it's up for debate and whether you like it or not specifically related to that i guess it's kind of weird that's why i never big into loot boxes because you don't know what you're getting in advance but um yeah i'm always a good fan of a fleece blanket especially because new england gets cold and it's that type of year but um i hope this was helpful <laughs> um this is probably super not suggested by the company but since you cannot retroactively get these things uh, if you see anything from the loot crate you want uh, you can usually find resellers of stuff like that. So that's how I've gotten a lot of the stuff before I got any of these crates. So keep your eyes peeled. Um, and that's what crate it's from. I'm pretty sure this was like called the Alduin crate. Um, but yeah, hopefully that was useful. And um, yeah, be, for, be sure to, I guess, check out some of the other stuff I do. If this is Elder Scroll stuff is what your interest is. And uh, have a good one.